Hello, in this video I'm going to show how the BFH plus algorithm works uh, using the plugin I described in my previous video. And uh, the idea is to show you how it works, but first let me show you what we have. We have a robot, a Pioneer uh, 3DX robot, and we have a laser uh, scanner just on top of the robot. And we have also a dummy here that we use to get or to access to the position and orientation of the robot. So the algorithm uses the laser scanner to detect objects in the environment. And the idea is that we want to reach this flag here, which is our target. Okay, so let's run the, the simulation and uh, we will see how it works. Okay, so let first you will see here these uh, green lines represent the mask histogram, which are basically representing those directions that are considered to be free of obstacles. And then you also have, in CM, you have uh, candidate directions that depend on what we have in the, in the mass histogram, we might found several candidate directions. In, in black, we have always a direction pointing towards the, the target, which is our desired direction, but this is not always possible. So that's the only direction that we actually take is the one which is in blue, this short direction here, okay? So as you can see, it is not always possible to move towards directly the, the target direction. Although there are situations in which it's possible because the, the, the free space is actually, or the, the, the target direction is actually uh, available in our uh, mass histogram, okay? So as you can see, this algorithm actually is performing uh, pretty fine because it's trying to solve more hard situations that we was able to do with the uh, artificial potential fields with a pure reactive algorithm. And you can see that in most of the cases, what we're doing, we are just basically surrounding the, um, the, the obstacles, okay? So because there are two possible, in this case, for instance, there are two possible candidate directions. One of them is closer to the target, which is why we are selecting that one clearly instead of that one, okay? And uh, once we pass or we pass to this, um, uh, obstacle here, we will be in a situation in which our target will be actually in our field of view. And then in that case, you will see that we will have another candidate direction directly pointing to, towards the, the target, which is actually the one that will be selected. Okay, so you will see that very soon right now. So here is uh, turning. And now you can see there that clearly we have this one is pointing towards the target and is the one that we are selecting. Okay, and that's how uh, it works, how it's expected. The, the flag actually is not detected and it's, it's not collatable, so it's just simply for indicating where we have to go, uh, reach uh, or where's the destination. And once it's reached, we stop. Okay, so thank you very much.